Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to be working on this big old boy. It's an Addison dehumidification unit. Uh, pretty much, um, I came out here a few weeks ago, found that circuit one was completely dry, completely flat, and submitted a um, submitted a request to do a leak check and it was finally approved so here we are so that's circuit one or I'm gonna call it circuit one this is circuit two circuit two is running good uh, whew, smells like refrigerant so we're gonna pump this side full of uh, nitrogen uh, we're gonna put some trace gas in there and uh, we're gonna see if we can't uh, find a leak today so let's get to it all right guys so I got it hooked up to the system and you can see we're completely flat um, I'm not gonna put this on there just yet that'll be for nitrogen pressure test um, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of trace gas um, just to see if we can't uh, See if we can't figure out where this leak is. All right, guys, tank's completely empty, and we were able to get about 133 psi or so. So we're gonna let that settle in. See if this little DTEC, uh, I don't know, 200 bucks or something can uh, try to keep up with the H10 Pro. So um, I went down to the van, picked those up. It's been almost 10 minutes and we've lost uh, six PSI. So we definitely got a nice, uh, nice sized leak somewhere. It's either coming from that side, the evaporators, or in here, but I think it's going to be on that side. I don't get anything off in here. So let's go check the evaps. All right, it's already going crazy out here. Calm down, calm down. Where is it, baby? Uh -oh. Okay, now let's switch it to low sensitivity. There we go. Let's see if we can't find it. If the H10 can actually pinpoint it for us. So let's go ahead and start this guy. There we go. She's ready. Out the soap bubbles. See, it's way back there. Uh -oh. uh, let's see. Uh -oh, let's see. some soap bubbles all right guys so I started moving some stuff around I'm not sure if you can hear that Shit. no leak detector needed to be honest it's way too big 
see that guy. I don't know where it is. Trying to mess with it a little bit, not a whole bunch, but it broke. So this is just a bad bend from the factory. Somebody probably bent it too much and tried to bend it back. So we'll take care of that. Don't drop your... nitrogen regulator so this goes like this and this guy right here it fell from right here to here about two and a half feet and that broke off well, it looks like it's time for a uh, new one so I gotta go to United Refrigeration I'm gonna get a new regulator get two more nitrogen tanks and I'm gonna see if I can get a, a coupling for this guy. I got some of this pipe in the truck. So we'll either do a coupling or we'll do a uh, swedge. I'd rather do a coupling because I don't like the way a quarter inch uh, pipe swedges very well. So probably just do a coupling. Could make a couple bends and we'll fix that. So let's go to freaking United. Guys, we're back from United got all the stuff I needed so we're ready to braze we got the nitrogen flowing and I know some of y'all are gonna be a little disappointed in me but I am going to use a coupling uh, right here because I am I don't want to mess with this valve I can unsweat this little piece right here but I don't want to I'm, I'm gonna put a wet rag around all this and I'm gonna try to try to braise this uh, a little bit further away. Um, at this point, I, I just I don't want to mess with this valve at all. So if you guys don't like it, uh, leave a comment. I'll appreciate it. But I'm gonna braise it up here with a coupling, and then um, I got another coupling right here, so it's gonna go right in there. So. That's what we're gonna do. I, I, I don't have a, a way to get a position in here, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and braise it, and uh, then we'll go do the filter dryer. There it is. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but from my angle, it all looks good. Oh yeah. Right there. That one looks good, and then this one up here, Sealed. Doesn't have a huge shoulder right there, but I think it'll seal. Um, like I said, guys. Uh, yeah, I know it's not pretty. Um, I could have just removed it from the TXV, but I just didn't want to mess with that valve. So not today. We'll leave it. Oh, and uh, for you guys that actually follow some of what I do, y'all remember this last video I did about the TXV on the train unit? My regulator messed up and today this regulator is messed up now so this one you you won't get any pressure whatsoever unless you go all the way in see that's all the way in so i'm gonna have to take these back to united take this one and uh the other one the uh the one that i originally bought four months ago i'm gonna take them both back and see what they say maybe they've had some problems with these nrp ones all right guys so we got about uh about 67 psi that's just what we're going to use for our initial test um just so we can see if our our welds held and uh if they do we'll continue adding some more nitrogen and yeah that one's not leaking either So we're good on our joints. 
we got no more uh, no, no more leaks there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue adding nitrogen until that bottle's finished. All right, so we're gonna go get our scale and uh, 105 pounds of 410A. So that's what we're doing right now. So this is such a big system that if I can't pull these cores out and vacuum through my appions, I'm gonna have to pull through my gauges that gives me two problems number one that's gonna be slow as hell um, I mean this is this is a big system big evaporator that's the condensing unit right there um, and number two I don't have the time to go get all my torches and everything and then braze in a port here so man this is one of those one of those things that just happens to you it's it's already gonna be four o'clock and I'm still messing with this thing um, so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a T on that make sure that doesn't leak and then I'm gonna set set up my my uh, my gauges to pull a vacuum and we're just gonna leave this vacuum overnight so that's the plan for right now